But I tore it out and I just kept working and working and uh, so then so I have a problem now later in life with going over the top rope backwards. I don't I don't do it very well. So I came back in two thousand and whenever I came back with Viscera against the Undertaker in a handicap match, two thousand five maybe it was mm -hmm. or something like that, where we took on the Undertaker. I so I get burned <laughs> in, in, in the elevator. So so they bring me back and it's been, I've been gone since uh, like when I broke my neck originally in like nine two thousand whatever mm -hmm. I was gone, and then a year later they released me after my neck was healed, and then they brought me back and they hired me and uh, they said oh we want you to try to go come up through the lift, but my lift was gone it was the lift for Ray Mysterio now so it was just a little square, a little square thing and then. Um, so they put Ray in it, and they would like crank Ray up and release it, and he would spring out of it, right? So, so, but they had to manually crank it for me. But we went to go do a dry rehearsal. Now, when I did my uh, the Brood's original lift, it was like six feet wide and like three or six feet long, like this, yeah, like I, I and, three and, feet. and three feet. That you know was big. You could fit three of yeah. us on it and all that, and the fire would burn up, right? But this one was a little. My shoulders had barely cleared the stage coming out. That's how tight it was. So. Uh, so they, they they lit the fire to go do it, and I'm standing there. But what they didn't anticipate was the, the fire sucked in, in the hole. Yes, oh. came in on me. I was just sitting there burning like this, and I was like, ah, it felt like uh, I don't know some shit from Stranger Things or something. <laughs> like, I, just had to, I, I jumped up. Yes, I watched Stranger Things. I watched all four seasons before you say some shit back over there in that corner. Um, <laughs> Man, I had to physically jump because they couldn't get it cranked up. When I got up, all my skin was hanging like Fuck. off the arm. So, uh, basically, they just cut the skin and, and cleaned me up. I, but this was just a rehearsal. Yeah, this was like an hour before the doors opened, like before the show. Yeah, and then we were like early in the show, the handicap match. Did you beat up the pyro guys or something? No, I think they got fired. Those that that group of guys. Yeah. It was in that town though. That they had a different. Wasn't the main guys that they would no, use right. all the time. I know it was just different ones. So, um, so they they cleaned it up, and then I rest Mister, but. Undertaker was putting a match together, and uh, you know this is the Undertaker. You don't want to tell him you can't do something. Then he right. goes, he goes, you know, on top of the arm and everything. He goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a clothesline over the top or, or a boot over the top rope backwards or something. I, I can't remember what it was, but whatever it was involved me going over the top rope backwards. And I was like, and it, it, I sat there for a minute, and then I said, no, I just might as well tell him because, like, in my, I said, hey, um, I really do that shitty now. Ever since that one incident, I. I I have some kind of block in my head. It's the worst bump that I do out of anything. And he goes, well, I'm glad you told me. He says, I'll just give you something. And you just go through the middle rope, blah, blah, blah. That's cool. And he was grateful because cause he realized it, 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 that that if I did it shitty, it made us both look bad. <laughs> you don't get hurt. So it's so much better to speak up. But uh, I didn't know. It. I should have learned. I, I, I learned this lesson way back because with S.A. Rios. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. This was before I broke my neck with S.A. Rios where he wanted me to drop kick him. And he was so... Insistent on it. I think it was called Papi Chulo at the time, or S.A. Rios. Yeah, S.A. Rios, yeah. S.A. Rios, yeah. yeah. And, uh, but I did it, and sure enough, I, it just, pow, that shoulder, the clavicle came out, and that cost me the WrestleMania. That was a hard lesson to learn. It cost me WrestleMania, the, the hardcore title, everything that was going to win at WrestleMania in L.A. That sucks. Ah, it's just life. It's part of my destiny, my path, I guess, you know. But it helps me as a trainer, though, to, to you, help teach. These right, things, and you, you never know. got to. But did you still go to that WrestleMania? Or you no, no, I was home, open, like I was home, slinged up. <laughs> and then I started. Uh, I started uh, rehab right away, like like two weeks. Well, they, they didn't want atrophy to set in, so I had to work it and work. They still watch the finish of that match, so it's okay. Oh, I didn't watch anything. I didn't watch yeah. that WrestleMania. It was, was hardcore better. Holy versus Crash. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a beat the clock, like kind of a, a battle royal, <laughs> like. You know, like this I guy lo loves wrestling. He I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then, and then, uh, Hardcore Holly was uh, was uh, was supposed to pin uh, Crash Holly, but the time was was supposed to run out before he gets the three count, but he got it before, so he 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 ended up being the 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 Hardcore Champion. But it was penciled in that Crash was gonna be the hardcore champion after that match ah rest in peace crash holly was a great worker oh yeah he yeah, was tremendous he, he that guy uh we went did the uh, wwe dojos together he was in there i think it was it was very like uh he came before before i mean he did great but right now like because he was small for that for that era but i think yeah, now he, he would really thrive like he's oh yeah he was, yeah he was great though they held him back he, did, he didn't do half the stuff he could do he was he was oh, really shit. really good uh, yeah it was a terrible loss um, unfortunately and life and 
wrestling, entertainment, yeah. and, and all that type of industries. You know, the, the most talented people are the most um, uh, affected Damaged. sometimes by by mental illnesses and different things. It's just not feeling, you know, like a square peg in a round hole. So, you know, again, I'll, I'll take this time right now to say if. if um, anybody's feeling any kind of way always reach out just reach out for help um, yeah, there's, there's the, uh you know there's the suicide hotlines there's, there's there's counseling there's, there's there's free stuff out there online um i'm sure raymond will post something up here in the post but um yeah mental mental yeah. you know like i think he was going through a divorce he was going through everything and crush just, yeah i yeah, think they, there's a lot of things going on the, and, the other guy that that was highly talented and he, but he was also like a lot of uh very damaged i think like was uh, brian christopher Brian, yeah, I, I traveled with Brian. I wrestled Brian a lot. Um, yeah, he didn't. I don't think he. he I, I'll say this out loud, and it, it's good. anybody who knows him will say he didn't kill himself in jail. I think, I think he got. Well, his his dad the same. Yeah, well, no, I I I hundred percent believe he didn't do it. Like not knowing Brian, Brian would have. He was probably smarted off to these fucking guys and thought he was untouchable and it, like so mysteriously the cameras don't work it's just like every movie you see mm -hmm. oh the cameras yeah. didn't work oh this guard was on break <laughs> i had to go you know it's not a laughing matter but it, it's just as ironic yeah, no. it's just like a movie and then it, it, you know that happened. and he died with you know your fingers in there why would you try to save yourself if you're trying to kill you because you would have had to like it is so I, I i i truly believe that mr uh the king is right about his son and, and yeah brian was uh yeah he was going through a lot of stuff luna a lot of stuff dude daphne you had ashley masaro uh, you had, uh, uh, uh you had the big guy mike awesome uh, uh sean you have so many people with so many so many comp uh, tragedies and and um early deaths and stuff like that by their own hands you know and um uh, yeah, it's just sad. Uh, today's what this August. Uh, I think August twenty seventh. This is August twenty second, but the twenty seventh will be twelve years that Luna's passed away. Right? Today. Today's the twenty third. Yeah, so yeah, but the month of August is twelve years. So yeah. Um, so if anybody's feeling any kind of depression or, or feeling something about anything or about anything you need to talk, just reach out. I'm sure yeah. there'll be a number up here. Raymond will post for a suicide hotline or some kind of yeah. Counseling. Get professional help. help. Yeah. Always... Please don't don't keep it to yourself. It, 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 reach out. There's there's people out there that are willing to help and listen. Yeah. Uh, 